Well, Gail, if I would ask you, what do you think when I say we're going to have something smart, something sassy, something Susan, and a really cute little leaf, what would you think? I would think that we're going to see the new fall stamps, and we're going to show you some fun ways to play with them. Sound interesting? Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. So here they are, just released this autumn, uh, Smart and Sassy, Simply Susan, and The Little Leaf. So we've got lots of fun things to show you with, but I, this smart, smart and Sassy sayings is a lot of fun because there's lots of different well, sassy little greetings on there. Let's do that first. And by the way, with all of these, there are 49 total stamps. So that's nice to know. Okay, so Smart and Sassy is uh, got 18 of the acrylic stamps. And you can see, I think the favorite is uh, Chocolate Doesn't Ask Questions, Chocolate <laughs> Understands. Understand. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Right, don't grow up, it's a trap. Friends don't let friends shop alone. <laughs> <laughs> you're not old, you're 25 plus shipping and handling. I'm a hybrid, I run on chocolate and wine. <laughs> And you'll see that there are images Great, to coordinate. images that yeah. go with the, with the sayings. And, of course, there's an ID on the back. But we'll show you that. <clears throat> now, here's our first card. This is on craft card stock. And what I love, besides the uh, image there, or the, message, the message, is that it is also using some a very clever use of our heart's holographic paper. It's just beautiful. It's peeking up at the top a little bit here, but it's also being used with our two swirls die cuts. Right. It's the pair of swirls. swirls. Uh huh. And it's also using the uh, circles and scallops. So this has eight of them. And, you know, just good basic cutting dies. Right. That you can, they can be used so often. So one of the small stamps on the sassy sayings, here's the little chocolate up here at the above to go with that greeting. A little truffle. Right. And so it's been embossed here. And this is using the, um, the twinkle. Vintage plum. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. What are twinkle we, are we embossing about? powder. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Right. Right. And the chocolate embossing powder, too. So both of them to give a little bit of shine. Right. Ch chocolate. And this is the and tinsel. That's what it was. Tinsel. Right. That's right. Embossing <laughs> tinsel. And so very simple look, but it's really been nicely embellished. So we've got just a little bit of that holographic. And this is the metallic ribbons. This has been heat embossed with the uh, chocolate. And on the inside, then a, another duplicate of that little guy and a little strip. So Very sweet. You, you put can, your own message on the inside. And yeah, so it works really well. It's just a really nice use of the holographic. So you can see with those little bits and pieces, you're probably using at most a third of a, of a sheet. Right, so, just a little bit up at the yeah. top. So that goes a long way. Nice to have. Now, here is the, you're not old, you're 25 plus <laughs> shipping and handling. So this is the large greeting down here at the bottom. Plus mm -hmm. there's a little stamp greeting right there that's used right here. Right, what works really nicely. And this is placed on layers that we're using the design tool kit number four. And you can see here is that shape and this shape is right here. And then you've got, of course, lots and lots of others. Right, and that what I like here is that the image was stamped once and then a couple more times on different colors of paper and cut out so that oh. butterfly is cut out from a different color of paper. Okay, so it was it back on top of yeah, it. Yeah, it wasn't colored. The black jewel dazzles are used. Also, that little flower comes from the 22 red paper flowers. And I think this is a nice way to show how something like this can come into place and be, again, so versatile, right. like the and things that we're showing. Easy embellishment. You just pop yeah. it out and foam tape it on. That works well. This is the red velvet paper pack uh -huh. as well. So there's lots of different choices of papers in that paper pack. Yeah, I probably have that in my pile here. There you go, red velvet. There's the dazzles. Black jewel dazzles. So nice to have, you know, you end up things in your stash and nice to see how they can be used and with uh, stamping it's perfect because you can mix and match and coordinate sure. all those elements so these sayings are great they're just kind of well they are what they say they're smart and they're kind of sassy <laughs>
<laughs> it was my idea. It was my idea. <laughs> okay. Here is another favorite. Don't grow up. It's a trap. Uh, fair <laughs> warning to everyone. This is using the uh, Gypsy Jewels papers. And uh, it's also got that, can those three candles there are just stamped over and over across a strip like that. That's a really good use of that. You're going to see that more than once in these designs. Yes. I also like the fact that the strips of the Gypsy Jewels are uh, cut apart, they're inked, and the edges are uh, cut in a V or at an angle and just layered across the top and right. left loose so left that... Loose, so it's got that little yeah. bit of texture to it that's really cute. It's, there's the black jewel border dazzles mm -hmm. for accents all around and I think this was another one of the toolkits for a label oh, back there. I think you're right. Now the, the candles, as you said, there are three on the stamp set, so you just duplicate them. But these, the candle glow in there, that's smooch, isn't it? That's smooch. And that would most likely be gold lame. I, that I think whole so. thing was done in smooch. Yeah. That's right. Actually. And I've got all of those. So <laughs> that's why they're over there. <laughs> gold lame, orchid frost, all of these different colors. And you can see the colors and how they were used. On the on the gallery, it's pretty pretty laying yeah. there. Now this is one way that you can do it, and this card has an inside with just a couple of candles, that little trio, so you've got room to write your message. What I thought was fun is that we have another card similarly done, but a very different look. Very different look. It's done on the Happy Days paper mm -hmm. pack, and these were stamped going across this way and embossed Let's in get black. it closer to see that. So one has been just stamped and smooched. This one has been embossed and, and Spectrum Nord. Spectrum Noir. Now, something I want to tell you about these, this is a favorite of ours because they work so well, but also because uh, the price is really, really good. Now, what they have done just recently is they changed the packaging. Well, the packaging of the pe the pens themselves. So they still come in an assortment of six. I think eleven ninety five is the right. retail. But they've just changed the barrel and a little bit of the uh, uh, formula. So the barrels are this hexagon shape, as you can see. Still has um, the Spectrum Nor name on them. The side that has the narrow, the bullet blade, is has that line. And the one thing, when you first get them, it's going to be a little, you know, a little tough to do, remove the caps, right. but just do them a few times and that will work out just fine. But, you know, the great thing about them being on there so tightly is that they're not going to dry out. So yeah. that's the point of being so nice and tight. And you see how this is shiny and this isn't? Well, those because there's some grippers right there. Right. So it's like So that. when you say they changed the, the solution, I think what they're saying is that they're actually better blending. Exactly, right. exactly. So these just arrived. So, um, and this, this is going across their whole line. So these are the brand new ones. So again, just coloring in with that bullet is so easy to do. And um, so and I just fun. wanted to make sure that you, you know about this. And uh, the other end is a more of a chisel. Right. Right, like so. Okay. So um, very, very nice to know. And you're the very oh, yeah. first to know. And we use them all the time. <laughs> Spectrum Noir pens are great for lots and lots of different projects. And I think what we have is the same, same images, two different color palettes being used. Mm -hmm. So this might be feminine, this might be masculine, might not, but it's just kind of nice to know. And you can stamp it right on, of course, you can also do some layering, which just makes it a larger focal. And on the inside of this one, there is nothing. So, <laughs> so. super fun. Come up with your own insight. <laughs> friends don't let friends shop alone. I think this is uh, really words to live by. <laughs> and um, this does have a little icon, and it's uh, used on the inside here. And that little mannequin right, is stamped. Little, right, the little dress form. But it's also yeah. using the, the small heart right here up at the top. Oh, oh, I see. You're right. Several places. There's lots of little things on here that are used in all different places. Yeah, so that just makes it even more fun. Now, this is using the typeset flowers. So we haven't highlighted these in quite a while, and I just think it's nice to be able to see that, again, they make a nice option for... Sure. 
for your make. A nice making. focal point. What I like about them is that they're very dark edged, so you don't have to ink them. They're good to go in right. that way. And this is the Stolen Moments paper pack, another one of our newer paper packs. Which is a very vintage, very beautiful, beautiful look. And you can see all the depth of the design in that. Now, for a very different take, Life's Too Short by the Shoes. By I the actually shoes. told this to a friend. Okay. Um, and <laughs> you have the little shoe right there. So there's the little shoe, right. there's the little saying. These are words it. to live by, just, you know, <laughs> just in case. And uh, this again is using that uh, circles and scallops cutting die. You can see all the layering. And on the grapefruit paper yeah. pack, it's got a lot of punch going on. It does. Now, our last one with this paper set is using uh, several things. It's using a hammered gold. I don't think we've shown this very often, but you can see that it has all of these pox marks. And so it's a nice textured look right. behind. It's it's a beautiful look. And then you've got that burgundy, the burgundy uh, suede. Burgundy suede. Right. Again, you know, the it, rich color. Right. It's it's dark against that, but I just think that's a, it. Almost looks like it's embossed in suede. On it that. does, doesn't it? But not so. It's using the three la lacy labels, cutting die. Very useful. Yeah. It's, they're great for framing just about anything. So you've just got this big piece of cardstock. You emboss your greeting on the center and just right. glue one of those labels, those frames on there. So it's really gorgeous. And then our wine glass has also been uh, heat embossed and cut out and just layered on top. Nice big bow here <laughs> with one of those uh, black acrylic blooms on there. All right. Pearl blossoms. Now our scrapbook page showing the stamp is this, which I think is just such a fun um, celebration of little Jenna at age three. Just beautiful. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. That is just <laughs> perfect. And here, there's a lot of sparkle going there on is. because you've got the purple holographic paper back here. And you also have the blue encrusted jewels oh, kit. Oh, with the blue set. Used. Okay. Oh. And you know, I don't know that I would have thought of doing this on an everyday page, right. which this is. Now it's on the Gypsy Jewels, so doing that variegated blue in combination with the striped um, variegation, but what a pop that little bit of the purple circles right. holographic does. Just a does. little bit in a little banner form. And here, this is also from the stamp set, a little swirl there. Ah. That's one of the small stamps in okay. the set. So I just think this is, I'm going to do this for Penelope. It's beautiful. <laughs> it makes you want to do this for some fun pictures of your own kids. It does, or grandchildren. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to go in the Simply Susan, and I've lost that uh, stamp set. Oh, we oh, have well, it. We have it somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, oh, here it is, Simply okay. Susan. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Whatever you do. <laughs> Simply Susan. Now, you've seen the papers, you've seen the paper toll, but we also did a stamp set. And as you can see, it has these wonderful images. They're sort of zentangle-ish, right. if that makes sense and to you. And they are just calling out to be colored in. They are. <laughs> now, this is, um, when we were looking at this, I kind of felt this was like a dazzle sheet because you've got, like with dazzles, you've got the focals, right. you've got borders, you've got words, and then you've got the smaller images. So a 21 shapes here, that's just not and bad. And you can use these over and over and over and over. Of course. <laughs> so let's see what we have here, Simply Susan, and we're going to do uh, just talk through some of the coloring agents. So they're right away, it's on the Simply Susan paper yes, it pack. Is. This one is stamped in black on cardstock, and then it's cut out and it's colored in with, I believe, the watercolor pencils. I think you're right. And I like the fact that they've uh, use the different elements. Just kind of going back to the stamp, you've got this nice little flourish of flowers and leaves, but you also have the individual elements so you can build your own. And stack them behind. What I like here is that first this image that you see back here was stamped on the paper behind, then it was stamped on another piece of cardstock, colored in and foam taped on top right. of the stamped image. And those little loops underneath it and the same ones on the side are the 
the border, border that you stamp. can stamp right so we've got a couple of them there and on the inside here is where we've used that phrase which is do something every day that makes you smile so that was stamped on the paper mm -hmm. and then just uh, two oh of the letters, the M and the L. <laughs> well, that's easy. The M and the L close. were stamped on different colors of paper. If you can get in close on that, different yeah. colors of paper, then cut out just the M and the L and and glued right back on okay. top of it. Okay, or you could color them in. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to get that bright color Is on it? that background oh. paper, so I can understand why that was done. Okay, <laughs> so there, and there's that flower again. Now, so you see it on the Simply Susan. How about a totally different take on this? How? Isn't that <laughs> fun? Now, this was stamped on glossy cardstock and colored in with the Spectrum Nor pens. Um, but the same idea, you can see they were cut out. And what I thought was fun, and we'll see this on a couple of stamps, is we've got happy birthday and thoughts. So we've got birthday thoughts on this card. Right. On our first card, we had happy thoughts. So and I, you can mix and match. And somewhere we're going to see happy birthday. <laughs> but it really is a nice way to use them. You right. can see the layering that's been done. Now, while it's fun to stamp these images and then cut them out, it's not fun to cut out those little swirls. <laughs> we're here so, to say. <laughs> so they were stamped on first, and then they become the background, which is a great idea. I also like the fact that this is the image, but it's been done twice, and just to create a larger focal. Right. On this particular card, too, we'll back up just a little tiny bit. There we go. We've noticed that it's a five-inch square. Two edges are left square two opposite ones have been rounded. So, and that was done with the corner chompers. Sure, just a nice thing. And then a little strip on the inside, and again, our do something every day that makes you smile. So that works well. That's a here, fun one. Here is yet a very different color combination. The, oh, the colors on this are great. Are and this they? comes from the Rosemary and Thyme paper pack. It's just lovely. This is our circles and scallops cutting die. Again, just happens that it's being used quite a bit. But you can see that these, this is one of the swirls, and there's the smaller one. That they were stamped, and then we uh, the watercolor pencils were used to color those in. So we're using those more and more, aren't oh, we? Yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> especially for fine detail work, they're one of the first things you go to. Either the watercolor pencils oh. or the Spectrum Noir pens are great for coloring in tiny things. I like the combination of the circles and the um, uh, squares. So we've got a square five inch card. Mm -hmm. We've got a square piece turned on point, on point with circles on the inside. And with these very circular flowers, right. it's just a really nice juxtaposition. One of my favorite things to do is mat the card. You know, just leave a, cut this piece just a little bit smaller so that you have that mat going around the edge. Right. It makes a nice frame. And then there's a little bit of ribbon poking out from underneath. And something else stamped images. that's been done here, I'm noticing, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, we might need to get in closer, is there's a little bit of yellow, yellow-green, right. all around that verse. It's just sort of scribbled yeah. with the uh, watercolor pencils a right. little bit for a background. And on the inside, again, you can see that swirl and just a little bit on the corner, so we've got room to write our birthday greetings or Very our sweet card. friendship Very greetings. Sweet. Now here is another card going back to the Simply Susan papers. Um, and this is using another of the design tools. I think this is number three. So the bottom is cut out. The front face of the card only is cut out so that right. you can see the paper on the inside. Exactly. And then you've got this nice bold strip of, of dot and there's a place for all of your images there. And again, the images have been duplicated. So this is the image. So you can see this swirl, that swirl, the leaf. And then it's done again and turned upside down so it creates a larger focal point right. and our butterfly is lifted up on foam tape and then that singular flower is done in the center. And then we've got purple jewel dazzles a little bit here and there and Just scattered. these are the friends and family dazzles right. here. And on the inside 
We've got our Forever Family on the Dazzles with the Butterfly. And this was taken from the Toolkit. And I like how toolkit. this one is colored, but these are fluttering off just simply in black. Right, that, so it draws your eye to the right. large one, which is the more important one in the image. Now we've really been seeing these flowers used as focals, but on this card, we see it used as a background. As a background, and just that sort of a, a light purple mm -hmm. shade just stamped all over in random air in a random pattern. Both the flowers and the butterflies all over, some of the swirls too. And then we've got our happy thoughts, our swirl border. Right, and then stamped and colored in and with Spectrum Noir. And then also the single flower was stamped again and you can see that layering that's happened to give the dimension of it. To make and, your own 3D paper. Yeah, paper. very nice. And on the inside, a little bit more at the top, but just doing the stamping. And I love this going off the off edge. Off the edge. That's yeah. just great. Even the paper piece part, because this is paper piece on top of there. Just off the edge. Right. Now we've focused on the flowers, but let's give the butterflies their due. <laughs> and uh, here we have it repeated with different colored of inks. Uh, this is the uh, design tool number three. Right. And then the paper pack is the red velvet paper pack. A little bit torn and distressed right. on the bottom with just this one word down just there. Just with thoughts. Thoughts. And this one doesn't have an inside either. And we have one last butterfly. So here we have it in this color combination. Then we're going back to the Simply Susan color combination. Right. But we're really popping that purple and the teal onto the green. And so now finally our birthday's showing up with the swirl <laughs> next to it. But I love that repetition of the images with some different coloring options. Right. And I love that with those sayings you can get different feelings. It's not all going to be birthday. You've got happy yeah. thoughts and lots of different ways Thinking of using Thinking of you, it. right. So nice. And I think all of these other little elements you can use with other things too. Sure. So that's nice. Okay, so we've done our two big ones. Okay. How about this little guy? Little you know, flower. gee, what can we do with a What small can we do? Stamp? Gosh, you'd think, well, I'm not sure. Well, are you ready? Ready. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's fun. <laughs> that's, that's done on the Gypsy Jewels paper pack. Right. And they are stamped and embossed with the white embossing powder. Right. And then you just cut each one of those little images out on the same size of paper and and map them and foam them, tape them. Foam tape them now, on. talk about this little floor, this little banner oh. that you have, because mm -hmm. you know we we're not gentle with these projects. They go into <laughs> sheet protectors. They're hauled from office to office, and this is holding up nicely. It is holding. I um I'm a big fan of uh, adding depth on the top of okay. a card. So I made this strip and then I zotted one end down and then I put a layer of several different layers, uh, several layers of foam tape. You don't have to make it that thick. I just kind of wanted this big little loop to go up and then I just sort of curved the end of it with my fingers. So there's another zots right under there and okay. then just sort of curved the end up and you have that ribbony look. That's really nice. Happy, happy day. So that's oh. very fun. Uh huh. This is from the birthday, the black glitter birthday greetings. It doesn't have the word day unless you cut it <laughs> off of birthday. So happy, happy day. <laughs> Good to know. But it's so funny because I would think of this as okay, this is fall. It could be spring. Right. right. Uh, I've got the little acorn. You've got the word thanks. So I'm, I'm really kind of thinking. You, November and sure. Thanksgiving can, and stuff. Gosh, you can use it and put it in any different color and you can get any yeah. different uh, time of year. So don't be limited. <laughs> Plus you have the white jewel oh, dazzles here. That's a nice use with the white embossing powder. Now on the inside you have your image and I love this design. And the way I did that was I took the paper, this square of paper, before I matted it, I set it on the card and stamped this image oh. and that image. So you didn't down do there. it. You did it as one stamp. No, I did it as one stamp okay. here, here. And then I took this off, matted it, and foam taped it back over the images. Okay. And you know, that's interesting because visually, I don't see a break in the design with that matting. It right. looks continuous to me. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And now you left your birthday all together. Good. Oh, one shot. Yep. Three, three little jewel dazzles in the corner. So really nice. Now this is one look. 
here is quite another, and we're going to need to get in close to see this vellum because it is just beautiful on the top of this card. Now that's embossed with gold right. uh, on vellum, which is it's simple to do. It, you don't want to overheat vellum because it will buckle quite a bit if you leave the, the heat tool on there for too long, but mm -hmm. it's not a hard thing to do at all. And you've just torn the edges. Mm -hmm. And you have used that same combination. So you've got the gold and the um, black. black. Oh, is black. it black? Okay, I thought it was burgundy. Is it even the suede? Gosh, I can't. Yeah, yeah it right. is. It's, it's the black suede. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> well, look at it. The black suede paper to, to mat. And this is from the Stolen Moments paper pack. Here. Okay, and before we get to the stamping part, I just want to point out that this is the gold um, or the Brass, yeah. brass, brass jewel, jewel dazzles. dazzles. This strip is no doubt one the of the gold extra thin lines. Oh, is it? Okay, I it thought is. it might be the extra piece you, on you this. Could cut, uh, yeah, you could cut. Them. So on the dazzle sheet, you know how there's a little tiny extra. You can cut that and make um, That's borders. True. Maybe I should have done that. Yeah, <laughs> and down here there is something that at first glance. Uh, you might not recognize what's going on, but just to go back to the stamp, there is a thanks, and there's that little singular solid leaf. There's also an acorn, and you have married them together. I did. What did you I'll do? I'll show you how I did that. I'm going to start out with this piece of paper here, and I'm going to start out with thanks. So I've got that on my acrylic block. I'm going to do this in uh, stays on black just so you can see it. On the other one, I used Versamark and okay. embossed each one through each process. But for this, I'm just going to stamp it. So I start with thanks. I You're stamp that, that first, on there. Obviously. It's a very small little stamp, but there it is. But at the same time, I'm going to do it again on a piece of scrap paper. All right. Okay. Then I take my scrap paper and I cut out that word. Hmm. This is where the short bladed scissors come in handy. Right. And I will tell you that Gail holds hers over on the other side of the table, so I can't lift them up and walk away with them. <laughs> I noticed that you have done that, woman. Well, they they fit my little fingers just the way they're split. No, little, whatever. <laughs> my fingers just right. So just spend just a minute. You really only need to concentrate on the right side of it, so I'm not going to worry about the left. Okay. Then I'm going to take that. Lay it right back over the word, like so. Mm -hmm. And if I if I let it go, it should pretty well stay there. There. Now I've got the leaf all ready to go, and I ink that up. I'm sort of at an angle. I stamp that right over it. Hmm. And there you go. Oh wow. And there you go with it embossed. Very right. neato. Do the same thing with Versamark and then emboss for right. each process. And lovely, lovely. So it lets you uh, put together two, two images just however you want. Right. So, so that's a simple okay. masking technique. Now we have talked about the holographic and here it comes again and this is the fireworks which as I have said, I thought was crazy when we did it, but it has proven <laughs> to be probably one of the most useful ones. Yeah. <laughs> and so you can stamp on them. You showed how you can heat emboss on them. So um, there we go on this one. So the leaf or the yeah, the leaf is becoming a center part that's also been done with one of the design tools. It's also another piece, and then on the on the holographic paper, it becomes an accent. Right. So, so lots of uses. Stamping back there, stamping on the front. This also <laughs> was masked, I see. Oh, so same that way. thanks could be right in the middle of that. Right. So you stamp thanks first, then you mask it, and then you stamp the leaf over it. Gotcha. Little acorns on each side. On the inside of this card, simply the little leaf. And this is on the North Country paper, so it works very nicely. With the leaves, right. Now here's another card that is a similar in that that leaf has been used in multiple ways, but this time in a black and white um, design. On the Sunshine and Shadows paper pack, and there's a little bit of uh, black 
uh, suede to oh, right. go around here. And then we brought back the smart and sassy, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. <laughs> but also, look at the leaves on the left. These are on the green holographic, right. and they have been embossed. They, and I actually used the white or uh, silver, the silver oh, encrusted jewels I kit. I see. So some huh. of them I, I embossed that one in white, but these I embossed with a little bit of the the silver tinsel and the aged silver embossing. So wow! Right in the so you get that dimension to them. Right. And then on the inside we have just one image, and it looks like you've done the embossing, uh, right. the encrusted jewels right. on that too. Just to it's getting a close bit to it to see that so depth. I started I started by embossing it in white and out on the outer edges I added a little bit of the silver tinsel and the embossing powder right in the middle oh wow so that center vein is really has some depth to it right. really nice okay scrapbookers we have a page for you and look at this. So we're going to have to talk about all the things that have been done with the stamping on this. We started out with, this is craft paper as the background, and okay. that comes in the classic cardstock. And then we used the Cider Artful Card Kit. Right, so here's that Artful Card Kit. Yes, I know it says card, and we're talking <laughs> scrapbooking, but I think we have pretty much blown the cover oh, of sure. these elements being be able to use with each other. There's so much in here that can be used on a page. You right. just adjust those papers to suit your needs. And, and let the eight and a half by 11 be a supersized mat right. on your page, and then you can get into right. the dot, the die it's, cuts. It's a little bit hard to see, but out here on the edges, I, on the background, I started oh. by, oh, it's getting in. Yeah. <laughs> I started by stamping with white stays on all along the edges. So it kind of gives that ghosted leaves. Right. Wow, right. on both sides. Okay, you also use the suede paper again to stamp, right? Right, I stamped right on there. I can show you, it's super simple. So here's the tanned suede paper. Okay. And I've got, you do have to use stays on. It's jet black stays on. You could on. probably also use the surfaces. Oh, surfaces, that's right. right. Stays uh, on the surfaces works well. And surfaces comes in a whole bunch of different colors too that we carry. And you stamp that on like so. Okay. And it does work on suede. Now, you, after it dries, which it takes just a little bit to dry, right. then you have cut it out, but mm -hmm. you did something else. I cut it out and I added stickles. Oh, so okay. when I added the stickles, I just put it around the edges, a little bit in the center. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, just the center. The whole center, center yeah. I went, I went along, just follow the little veins. Super simple. And fun. Boy, and how what a what a look it gives. Now notice when Gail cut it out, she did not go into these little tiny areas. She just swooped around the outside edge so you don't have to drive yourself crazy. Right. But look how the tan, the burgundy, now the brown, and then some peeking out from the photos. Without any of the stickles on them. Right. It just makes a nice backdrop. These are that. some of the, the die cuts from the from the Cider Artful Card Kit. Right. So love them peeking out from that ruler die and, cut. And it's kind of hard to notice, but I also stamped thanks along the background here. And some of them, I went in with my pen and journaled give right okay. above, so it says give thanks. It's getting close to them. see that. And they're kind of like the leaves that you've done. They're, um, they're kind of ghosted, and you've written give there and down here also. Just on a few of them. And then a little bit of uh, journaling to give our where the, our family is. So, okay, so three new stamps, 49 individual image, and a ton of ideas. And lots to play with. And by the way, be sure to come back on Thursday. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a Halloween surprise. It's going to be spooky. <laughs>